Good morning, New Hope kids. This week, I would like to show you one of my favorite flowers. One of my favorite flowers is the snapdragon. I love it because it actually looks like a little dragon and it snaps. In a minute, I'll have Leah show you a video of me snapping the dragon up close, but you can actually open his mouth and snap. Can you see why snapdragons are one of my favorite flowers? They're so pretty and fun. Now hold that thought. We're gonna talk about Colossians 3, 12 to 14 and come back to the snapdragons. The last couple weeks, Mrs. Ludlam and I have been camped out in Colossians 3, 12 to 14. I'm going to read it really quick for you, just to remind you what it says. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Mrs. Ludlam, and I think this verse is such a great verse for helping us learn how to love God and how to love others. A couple weeks ago, I talked about compassion and how that is seeing someone in need and doing something to help them. Last week, Mrs. Ludlam talked about looking for humility and looking for ways to put other people ahead of ourselves. This week, I would like to talk about patience. There's two kinds of patience in the New Testament. One is the kind of patience that you would have about a situation or a circumstance. So it's like when your birthday's coming up, the week before your birthday, you need to wait patiently for your birthday to come. That's one kind of patience. The other kind of patience is the kind of patience that God has for us, and it's the kind of patience that God wants us to have for other people. God loves his people so much. He loves every single person, and he wants us to be patient with each other. When we are patient with each other, it shows love and respect to that person. And when we show love and respect to God's people, we are actually showing God love and respect. So patience is super important to God. But patience is super hard. I get irritated with people. I get annoyed with people. And when I do, I want to snap just like a snapdragon, but I'm not cute or pretty when I do it. I have a really hard time being patient when people interrupt me. When I'm talking or when I'm doing something, I have a hard time being patient when other people don't stop talking and I'm trying to say something, but they won't stop talking. I have a hard time being patient with other people who don't share. I have a hard time being patient with people who bother me for whatever reason. So being patient is really hard. But there is a solution. Since patience is so important to God, it is really important that we figure out how to be patient with people because it matters. So the next time you're not feeling patient with people and you want to snap like a snapdragon, you can. Except this kind of snapping is different. This kind of snapping is not going to hurt people. It's not going to break relationships. It's going to help you to be patient God's way. Snap, S-N-A-P. The S stands for stop. So when you start to feel impatient with someone, maybe inside you start to feel and your brain and your heart and your mind and you just want to snap and be impatient with someone, say something mean, maybe kick something. Before you do anything, stop. Don't react. Take a deep breath. And then N, notice. Notice yourself. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? What's happening with you? Are you tired? Are you hungry? Do you need a break? Do you need to take a couple breaths? Notice the other person. What are they thinking, feeling? What do they need? 
And then A, ask. Ask yourself, what would be God's way? I'm not feeling patient with this person, but what is God's way right now? Or ask God, just very quickly, say, dear God, help me, I am going to lose it. And God will help you. Or ask an adult or a friend who's nearby, just say, I really need your help. What do I do? This person, I'm having a hard time being patient right now. Please help me. And I know that any adult in your life would be happy to work with you and walk with you through those feelings and help you to do God's way of patience with that person. And finally, pivot. Pivot means to turn. So turn from that mean snap to whatever God's way is for you in that situation. Maybe it's take a break. Maybe it's take some deep breaths. Maybe it's apologize. Maybe it's ask for clarification. Maybe it's help the person. Who knows? But God will help you to snap in a good way. So snap means stop, don't react. Notice what's happening with you. What's happening with the other person? Ask, what is God's way in this situation right now? How can I be patient in this situation right now? And pivot, turn, choose God's way instead of snapping and being impatient with one another. Choose God's way of being patient with each other, showing love and respect to each other and love and respect to God. I hope that this week you guys have a snappy week. Enjoy being snappy with one another. <laughs>